Hello, everyone, and welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco. My name is Catherine, and welcome, everyone. Today, we've got an elementary level lesson for you. It's all about sending things through the mail. That's right. So, maybe gifts, maybe letters. We're going to the post office. So, why don't we jump right into this dialogue? Let's listen to it for the first time, and we'll be right back. Hi, I would like to send this package to China and these postcards as well. Very well. You will need some stamps for the postcards, and I need to weigh that package too. Great. How much is this going to cost? Well, it depends. Do you want to send it via priority, express, or standard mail? What's the difference? Well, standard mail can take up to 15 working days. Priority is a bit faster and will arrive in about five to eight working days. Express is the fastest, but it's also the most expensive. It only takes three days, and you can track your package online. I see. Well, there's no rush. Please send it via priority mail. Please be extra careful. The contents of the package are fragile. All right. So pretty simple dialogue. We want to send a package through the mail. So why don't we take a look at some of those mail-related terms in language takeaway? Language takeaway. All right. So the first item we're going to talk about in today's language takeaway is something you can send. It's called a postcard. A postcard. Okay. So very popular among people who are traveling and they want to send a postcard back home. That's right. So a postcard is something that you usually buy at a tourist destination, like Walt Disney World, for example, and it has a picture on the front and some words on the back. So you can write a letter on the back of this picture. Uh huh. So it's very simple. It's a.、Uh... It's not really a letter. You don't put it in an envelope.、Mm -hmm. You just、uh, write whatever you want on the back of the postcard, but you do have to put a stamp on it to, in order to send it. That's right. So stamp is our next word. A stamp comes in different price ranges. That means that some stamps are more expensive than other stamps. This is like money. For the mail,、mm -hmm. so you have to buy the stamps, and in order to prove that you have paid for the letter that you want to send, you must place the stamps on the letter, on the envelope, or on the postcard, right? So depending on the size and weight, it costs more. That's right, and usually you lick a stamp to place it on the card so it doesn't fall off. True, that's right. You got to lick it.、Mm. All right. So as we talked about, a package can be a letter, a postcard. You place stamps on it, and we need to weigh the package to know how much money we have to pay. That's right. So sometimes a package is very heavy if it's filled with books, for example. Sometimes it's very light if it's filled with clothes or feathers.、Mm -hmm. And so to find out how much something weighs, we have to weigh it. This is a verb. Okay. So this is a verb, right? To weigh. So you want to know how many kilos or how many pounds this item has. Right. So we could say it weighs a lot or. How much do you weigh? Okay, things like this. Very good. All right, moving on. We have the different types of mailing speeds, I guess. Right. So we saw three:、mm -hmm. via priority mail, express mail, or standard mail. So let's go in parts. Let's go with the first one: via priority mail. Priority is fast. It means priority is something that's important. So I have many priorities at work.、Mm -hmm. This means they are important. Very important. So this letter has. A certain importance. It's a little bit more important than, for example, the other letters. That's right. But express is the most important, the fastest. So, to something that's express is fast. Like an expressway is the fast highway.、Mm -hmm. Express mail. Okay. So, express mail is the fastest, and now the normal, cheapest mail is standard mail. Standard. So, the word standard usually means. The average or the normal、mm -hmm. mail, and in this case, it usually takes the longest.、Mm -hmm. Okay, so obviously, standard mail is the cheapest. Express mail is the most expensive because it's the fastest.、Mm -hmm. That's right. So we've got all of those speeds now. Let's listen again to today's dialogue and try and listen for the words we just talked about. And we'll be back in a moment to talk about some important phrases. Hi, I would like to send this package to China and these postcards as well. Very well. You will need some stamps for the postcards, and I need to weigh that package too. Great. How much is this going to cost? 
Well, it depends. Do you want to send it via priority, express, or standard mail? What's the difference? Well, standard mail can take up to 15 working days. Priority is a bit faster and will arrive in about 5 to 8 working days. Express is the fastest, but it's also the most expensive. It only takes three days, and you can track your package online. I see. Well, there's no rush. Please send it via priority mail. Please be extra careful. The contents of the package are fragile. All right, we're back. So now let's take a look at three key phrases on Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. All right, so the first phrase today is one that I like to use a lot. We say, it depends. Okay, how much is this going to cost? Well, it depends. Okay, so the phrase could be, it depends. Mm -hmm. So, it depends. When do you usually use this? Okay, if you ask me a question, I can have one answer, but maybe there's another possible answer. For okay. example, um, what are you going to wear tomorrow, Marco? Uh, it depends if it rains or not. Okay, it depends. If it rains, I will wear a raincoat. Mm -hmm. If it's sunny, I will wear a normal coat. Mm -hmm. So, it depends means there is a situation or a circumstance that might change. And if it does, my answer will change. Right. So it is a conditional, it depends. For example, I can ask you, what are you going to eat tonight? It depends. If I exercise, I'm going to have a hamburger. Mm -hmm. And if I don't exercise, I'll have a salad. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it depends. Now we have another phrase when they were talking about how long it's going to take to mail something. He said standard mail can take up to 15 working days. So we have this little phrase there, up to. Up to. So up to, when you hear this, these two words together, that's an indication, it's a sign that we're talking about the maximum, the, the maximum. most. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tomorrow, the temperature might go up to 24 degrees Celsius. Okay, so the temperature maximum will reach 24. It could be maybe 22, 21. But not 25. Not 25. No, because up to means the top. So you're usually dealing with numbers, right? For example, this coat can cost up to $150. Wow, so the most I will spend is $150. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have a, a number like this when we're talking about sending a package. Mm -hmm. We can send packages that weigh up to 10 kilos. Mm -hmm. Not more than 10 kilos, though. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. And now for our last phrase to close off the dialogue, the guy said, well, you know what? There's no rush. No rush. There's no rush. Okay, well, the first word we want to look at here is the word rush. Mm -hmm. In this case, we're talking about sending a package and mm -hmm. the postcard, right? So um, does this person want it to arrive fast? He says, no. no, no, there's no rush. Let's send it standard. It's cheaper. <laughs> okay, so maybe so maybe your friend is like, come on, we're going to be late. And you're like, no, there's no rush. We there's no have rush. An hour. We have one hour before the movie starts. Calm down. Okay. So you're not in a hurry. No, there's no rush. Slow down. It's okay. <laughs> this is a good one to talk about with friends if you're, or if you're working on a project at mm -hmm. work. You say, listen, there's no rush. Take your time. Okay, very good. So let's go back to our dialogue. Let's listen to it for the very last time. And we'll be back in a bit. Hi, I would like to send this package to China and these postcards as well. Very well. You will need some stamps for the postcards and I need to weigh that package too. Great. How much is this going to cost? Well, it depends. Do you want to send it via priority, express or standard mail? What's the difference? Well, standard mail can take up to 15 working days. Priority is a bit faster and will arrive in about 5 to 8 working days. Express is the fastest, but it's also the most expensive. It only takes 3 days and you can track your package online. I see. Well, there's no rush. Please send it via priority mail. Please be extra careful. The contents of the package are fragile. All right, we're back. So now, uh, Catherine, do you usually send postcards when you are abroad, when you travel? Yes, I love postcards. And actually, I have some friends who have an amazing postcard collection. Oh, really? But it's not normal postcards. 
No, what type they of? They find the most ugly postcards and wow. they buy them wow. and they write silly notes and they send them to themselves. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I have the tradition of always sending my parents and my grandparents a postcard when I'm abroad. That's so sweet. Yeah. So always. they have a collection of all the places you've yeah, been. Yeah, yeah. So all the time, wherever I am, the first thing uh, that I try to do if I'm in a cool place, I send them a postcard. And sometimes if I'm in a country in various cities and there are some nice things in, for example, two or three cities, I'll send them three postcards. That's awesome. So do they have a book at home with all of these postcards? Yeah, they do. So, um, I, you know, I just send them a little thing, how I'm doing and how great it is and wish you could be <laughs> here, you know, little notes. And then um, they have all the collection. It's really cool because that way I've actually kept track a little bit of what year and what date I was in certain places. Oh, wow. Well, it's also nice because postcards, you don't need to write a very long mm -hmm. note. There's no space. You just write a short note. You say, hi, how's the weather? Miss you. Wish you were here. <laughs> right. Okay, so that's all the time we have for today, but let us know if you've had any inconveniences at the post office. I actually had one once. I couldn't send batteries through the mail because really? they have acid, apparently. Oh, yeah. So it's very difficult Alkaline. to send it. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe you've had a situation like this before. Let us know. EnglishPod.com. We'll see you guys there. Bye, everyone. Bye.